It's an autographed baseball. It's Tristar Hidden Treasures. It's happening right now. We're going to hit something big. We're looking for the Lou Gehrig. Letter G is going to be pretty good to own. It's a last name letter box break. We're going to random the owner name seven times. We're going to random the letter seven times. And we're going to stack the lists up side by side. Good luck in that uh, break, Frank. And we got lucky number seven. Bang. So we're just getting everybody their random letters. That's what's up. That's what's up. Random letters. Did I put that in the spreadsheet? I don't think I put it in there. Here we go. All right, here we go. Letter random. Hoop. Lucky. Number seven. All right, now you can see your last name letter. There's uh, G for Garrick for Scott S. M for Mantle, Jeffrey G. Like I said, we have pulled Babe Ruth out of here in this product uh, in the past years of Hidden Treasures. We've had uh, two or three Babe Ruth baseballs come out. I even forget um, how many we've had now. Is it is it three? I think we've had three Babe Ruth baseballs. We've had Babe Ruth's autograph and other products too, but I think three in this one. Anyway, we're due for the fourth because it's been a while since we've had one. So maybe we're hitting the fourth tonight. Hope. I know it was Rosendo and Rick and then Arturo. Yep. So it's been three. It's been three Babe Ruth baseballs. Rosendo, Rick A, and Arturo have hit Babe Ruth baseballs out of Hidden Treasures. <laughs> out of this product. But it was just like not this series. This series doesn't even have Babe Ruth. I think Arturo kept his in... Rick and Rosendo flipped theirs, sold theirs for, you know, over 10000 I forget what it exactly it went for, you know, if it, if it was around, it was around 15 to 20. Well, is this going to be one of those type of hits? I hope so. Good luck, everybody, in the autograph baseball. Box break. Oh, whose autograph is it? That's a Lou Pinella. Oh my gosh. Lou Pinella is currently managing the White Sox. There's been a lot of Lou Pinella news out there with his DUI. Uh, and then the White Sox uh, still signed him. So he might, you know, I mean, he's a interesting, uh, interesting legend of baseball who is still currently impacting the game of baseball and uh, i think it's a great autograph to get i mean chicago could be on their way to world series so this could be a you know they could go to they, they're a great team the, the white Sox are a great team 
And here you've got the manager uh, coming out right here. So that's Pinella. That is P owner. That is Mr. J. Oh, congratulations, Mr. J. Boom. I know it's Lou Pinella. It could be wrong. Let's confirm it. And then also in Hidden Treasures, there's a possibility of a ticket. But, I mean, that's got to be Lou Pinella. It'd be crazy if it was like Lee something and I was wrong the whole time. Wouldn't that be stupid? But, no, that's, that's, that's Lou Pinella. <laughs> it's not Lee Pinelli. It's Lou Pinella. <laughs> So you can see his, his accolades and everything. Congratulations. I knew it was Lou Padella the whole time. There was never a doubt in my mind. And uh, so that's good stuff. That's a, that's a great hit. We'll continue looking for any bonus ticket. Hope. All right. So no, tr no bonus treasure ticket. <laughs> oh my all right so we got more of these autograph baseballs for you to be able to get into good good fun lots of big hits coming out of there and here's a link to the next autograph baseball that will be popping open and it should be right, right here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the cut signature break's really good. It's a good box break to get into. Cut signature Hall of Fame. Uh, right here, you know, it's going to be a Hall of Famer. And it's only 14 spots, one hit. And it's a first name letter box break. So, yes, YW. I hope you hit big in this one, my friend. And join Mr. YW in, cut, in the cut signature. Hall of Fame cut signatures. It's actually really inexpensive. And here too, only $9.99. It's been marked down. It was at one time $15.99. It's been marked down really good. Always a Hall of Famer. Oh, yes, man. That Pete Alonzo was so nice. Oh, my gosh. That was out of, yes, Chronicles. And uh, the, I kept showing that off, so I'm sure most everybody here probably saw it. I, I was showing that thing off for days. <laughs> I was showing that thing off. Uh, I should pull it up right now and look at it. That's how, <laughs> that's how good it looks. Oh, man. Squints, uh, are you sure? Did I get Tony La Russa and Lou Pinella mixed up? Man, I think you're right, man. Now I'm really embarrassed. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, those two are kind of easy to get mixed up, don't you think? I mean, are people just going to make fun of me now? Let me see. I think they're really easy to get mixed up. I mean, they both kind of from the same era. They've both been managers. 
I bet you I'm not the first person to make that mistake. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, though. I wish I wouldn't have said all that about it. Oh, well. Nobody's perfect. Hey, what's up, KP? <laughs> what's going on, man? Good to see you. I sure did botch that one baseball autograph baseball box breakup, did I? I sure did botch that thing. Yes, Reggie Jackson. I just got Lou Pinella and Tony LaRusso mixed up. feel like an idiot. Oh, well. Anyway, Squints, thanks for pointing that out. Because now I'll, I'll definitely remember. <clears throat> That'll never happen again, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, both of them legends of the game. Right. Jeff B. got in with you, YW. By the way, <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, everybody, if that happens again, just follow Card Guru's technique. <laughs> follow, follow, do what Card Guru does whenever I goof up like, really bad like that. Ha, ha, ha. 